Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today's video was a highly requested one and a long overdue one. And that is the taboo topic of emotional incest and mothers who raise their sons to be surrogate husbands. Now this video will ruffle and pluck out some feathers because it exposes what many women have experienced in their dysfunctional relationships with dysfunctional men who are groomed to be mama's boys. And that includes men who are overly attached to their mothers and men who have overbearing mothers and women who have overbearing mother-in-laws and men who aren't innately aware of how toxic and territorial that their own mothers can be. And this also includes mothers who don't have boundaries and mothers who irrationally uh, compete with their son's love interests. And this also includes mothers who don't have a man or an adult relationship or a love life of their own. And although this issue is not exclusively a black woman's issue, enmeshment or mothers who treat their sons as husbands is a pretty common phenomenon in black households around the world. Now, before I get started, I first need to say that this video is not an attack on single moms or single mothers or on mothers who are doing the best that they can. We all know that being a single mom is one of the toughest jobs in the world. And I also need to say that there are single mothers and moms and grandmothers in general who raise well-balanced, respectful, and confident men and confident sons. But this video is not about them. And I also need to say that moms who are territorial over their sons or moms who baby and coddle uh, their adult sons out of habit are not always the uh, vicious, mean-spirited, or intentionally malicious witches that they are made out to be. Sometimes single mothers and black households in general are just simply plagued, very plagued with a lack of masculinity and are plagued with loneliness. And sometimes single mothers truly struggle with learning how to have a fulfilling life outside of motherhood. But with that being said, to the mothers and to the sisters of brothers as well, because sisters can also overstep their boundaries and are inclined to inappropriately mind their brother's romantic business as well, uh, to the mothers and to the sisters and to the grandmothers who are listening and ear hustling, sons are not surrogate husbands and your brother is not your man. Sons are potential providers, protectors, creators of legacy, and sons are the potential leaders of their own families and their own homes with their own wives. Sons are not born to only protect you mothers. Sons are not born to only provide for you. Sons are not a replacement or a surrogate for adult male companionship. Sons were not born to only keep you company. Sons were not created to fulfill the emptiness of your voids or your loneliness. Sons were not created to only pay your bills. Sons were not born to remain seven years old and sons and little boys were not created to be the man of your house. Now, let's talk about emotional incest and enmeshment for a minute, which are both forms of psychological and emotional abuse that have been normalized in the households of black families. Uh, enmeshment, also known as emotional incest, is when a parent uses a child for emotional support in a way that is normal for a husband or a boyfriend. Uh, the parent typically takes an opposite sex child, which is usually a son, and elevates them to a romantic partner status or uses the child as a substitute for an adult relationship. Uh, enmeshment ladies and mothers who are lurking and ear hustling is a form of abusive parenting and it confuses little boys about their role as sons. Ladies, sons are boys who will eventually evolve into men who are fathers, potential leaders, husbands, businessmen, entrepreneurs, and God willing creators of legacy. And sons and little boys are not emotionally equipped to fulfill your adult emotional needs. And it is irrationally unfair to expect a male child to fulfill or to assume the position of an adult male. Uh, ladies, 
Sons need masculine guidance. Sons need masculine role models. And they need men who model leadership and good decision making and men who model how to be fully functioning in their personal relationships. And an often overlooked point is that sons also need mothers who are capable of modeling femininity and feminine expression so that boys can learn and understand that women are at their best and women are at their happiest when they are feminine first. Now, from what I've learned since being on YouTube for the last eight months is that when a person doesn't like what is being said, uh, they feel attacked. But again, this video is not about attacking single mothers or mothers who are unaware of the damage that they are possibly causing. Uh, this much needed conversation, this much needed message is about having the insight and the awareness that is needed to break generational curses. And mothers who treat and view their sons as husbands is a huge generational curse that plagues many black households. And it is up to the mothers to break this disempowering cycle. Uh, sons who are raised to be husbands for their mothers uh, grow into men who are confused and stunted in their masculine potential and their masculine growth. And when boys are coddled and stifled and suffocated, they turn into men who end up lost, misguided, emotionally underdeveloped, and they often end up broken and angry and resentful and embittered and confused about their role and their identity as men. Uh, men who are raised by mommy dearest alone are also crippled in their cognitive reasoning and expectations when it comes to romantic relationships and fulfilling the role of husband. Uh, sons who grow up seeing mom being a do-it-all and doing it all alone without masculine help grow up into men who expect their lovers, their girlfriends, and their wives to be do-it-all masculine women. And with that, the generational curse continues and femininity, as a result, continues to get pummeled and crushed, which is why you need to subscribe to this channel to increase your feminine awareness, ladies. And another issue that I would like to acknowledge and touch upon are mothers who run interference on their son's romantic relationships. And I've mentioned this before on my channel and I will mention it again, but women by nature are competitive and comparative in the realm of men. And a woman will always compare her world to another woman's world when it comes to men, especially if the next woman is being provided for by her husband because being provided for inspires a deep level of jealousy and envy from other women. And that includes mothers who do not like to see when their sons are being providers for their wives and their girlfriends. Uh, these are the mothers who toxically compete for positioning. These are the mothers who shall not be moved from that number one spot. With toxic and territorial mothers, the adulation, the attention, and the affection of their sons uh, is something that they aren't willing to negotiate, share, uh, split, or divide. And many toxic mothers are too selfish, they are too self-absorbed, and they are too self-focused, and in certain instances can be uh, highly narcissistic women. And because of that, they are very capable, these mothers, they are very capable of easily violating boundaries, and they are often guilty of putting their sons in a position of having to either choose their mothers or their wives. And these unfortunate situationships are very uh, common with women who date and marry men with toxic mothers and can only be resolved. Okay, ladies, this is the solution. When a man puts his foot down and puts mommy dearest in her place, otherwise any woman who finds herself in a relationship with a man who doesn't know how to have boundaries with mommy dearest, the terror, uh, that woman will always come second place and will be the forever, uh, the forever third wheel. And trust and believe these kinds of relationships with mama's boys 
can be a deeply, a deeply unsatisfying uh, waste of time and will only worsen if children and marriage are involved. Uh, ladies, if you are a mother who is raising a son alone, as a mother in chief, it is your responsibility to not only prepare your son to leave the nest, but it is also your responsibility to prepare your son to be the best husband, protector, and provider possible for the next generation to come. And as a mother, if you choose to ignore uh, the painful cycle of this generational curse, your son will be permanently damaged goods or even worse, a MGTOW reject. And he will be a rinse, wash, and repeat a deadbeat statistic. And no good mother uh, wants her son to be a statistic, or does she? So that's all I have to say on this for now. Ladies, have you ever experienced a uh, competitive mother? Have you ever been with a man who was a complete mama's boy? Have you ever had to end a relationship with a man because of his overbearing mother? Uh, share your thoughts and your war stories below and stay tuned for more videos to come. And I will catch up with you guys in the next one.